The next frontier. DNA emerges as a powerhouse for data storage and computing. DNA data storage and computing. Researchers from North Carolina State University and Johns Hopkins University have demonstrated a technology capable of a suite of data storage and computing functions repeatedly storing, retrieving, computing, erasing, or rewriting data that uses DNA rather than conventional electronics. Previous DNA data storage and computing technologies could complete some but not all of these tasks. In conventional computing technologies, we take for granted that the ways data are stored and the way data are processed are compatible with each other, says project leader Albert Kyung, co-corresponding author of a paper on the work. But in reality, data storage and data processing are done in separate parts of the computer, and modern computers are a network of complex technologies. Kyung is an associate professor of chemical and biomolecular engineering and a goodnight distinguished scholar at NC State. DNA computing has been grappling with the challenge of how to store, retrieve, and compute when the data is being stored in the form of nucleic acids, Kyung says. For electronic computing, the fact that all of a device's components are compatible is one reason those technologies are attractive. But, to date, it's been thought that while DNA data storage may be useful for long-term data storage, it would be difficult or impossible to develop a DNA technology that encompassed the full range of operations found in traditional electronic devices, storing and moving data, the ability to read, erase, rewrite, reload or compute specific data files, and doing all of these things in programmable and repeatable ways. Breakthrough in DNA-based technology We've demonstrated that these DNA-based technologies are viable, because we've made one. Quote dot. The new technology is made possible by recent techniques that have enabled the creation of soft polymer materials that have unique morphologies. Specifically, we have created polymer structures that we call dendricoloids. They start at the microscale, but branch off from each other in a hierarchical way to create a network of nanoscale fibers, says Orlin Vallef, co-corresponding author and the S. Frank and Doris Culberson, distinguished professor of chemical and biomolecular engineering at NC State. This morphology creates a structure with a high surface area, which allows us to deposit DNA among the nanofibrils without sacrificing the data density that makes DNA attractive for data storage in the first place. Quote dot. You could put a thousand laptops worth of data into DNA-based storage that's the same size as a pencil eraser, Kyung says. Innovative functions and practical applications. The ability to distinguish DNA information from the nanofibers it's stored on allows us to perform many of the same functions you can do with electronic devices, says Kevin Lin, first author of the paper and a former Ph. D. student at NC State. We can copy DNA information directly from the material surface without harming the DNA. We can also erase targeted pieces of DNA and then rewrite to the same surface, like deleting and rewriting information stored on the hard drive. It essentially allows us to conduct the full range of DNA data storage and computing functions. In addition, we found that when we deposit DNA on the dendricoloid material, the material helps to preserve the DNA. Quote dot. You could say that Kyung's team is providing the equivalent of microcircuits, and the dendricoloidal material that my team creates provides the circuit board, says Valev. Our NC State collaborator Adriana San Miguel helped us incorporate the materials into microfluidic channels that direct the flow of nucleic acids and reagents, allowing us to move data and